All right, so we've reached the Cornish. The uh, food has arrived here. I think that chili's pretty spicy. Look at this little barber shop. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> and then this one is Breen. Okay. Uh, here goes nothing. Hello, everybody. I made it to Alexandria. Finally. <laughs> I had so many people in the comments for months telling me I have to come to Alexandria, I have to come to Alexandria. Well, now I have made it here and I'm super excited to be here. I uh, got in last night. It was a long journey from Dahab. I took a bus from Dahab to Sharm el Sheikh, flew from Sharm el Sheikh to Cairo, took the shuttle bus from the airport to the bus station, then a bus to the train station, then took the train to Alexandria. So all in all, it took like 12 hours. I'm really happy to be here. Checked in at my hotel late last night, got some sleep, and now I am on my way to explore. So I passed a really cool Brazilian coffee shop actually when I was on my way to Vodafone, and I wanna go back there now and grab a cappuccino and show you guys what it's like, because it's super old and rustic, and it looks like they have really good coffee. So, yalla. Assalamu alaikum. It's a camera. <laughs> Say hello to YouTube. How are you? Tamam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Even the old taxis are so cool looking. <laughs> so there's the coffee shop, the appropriately named Brazilian coffee stores. Okay, let's go check it out. Such a cool spot. Okay, someone's waving me over. All right, guys. Well, this is my friend Kareem. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. And I just met him here at the Brazilian coffee shop. Yep. And uh, he was super friendly. And the, the original one, huh? The original one. Yeah, yeah. because the other one uh, down, like uh, further downtown, yeah. is uh, is a franchise. Uh, okay, okay. It's not the original one. Yeah, but I was I was going to Vodafone and I walked by this and I looked inside. I was like, I gotta come back here. It looks so cool. Yeah, it is. Awesome. I love like the. The shape of it. Yeah. Got the arch ceiling and everything. Karim invited me to join him in his Check this squad. out. Brazilian coffee stores since 1929 in Alexandria. Yeah, everything here is so old, I love it. And if you walk down these streets, you'll find buildings from the late uh, 18th century. Really? Yep. Karim invited me to join him in his huge squad, which is like almost everyone in this cafe. Yeah, this, this, this whole section. So I'm gonna go with them and uh, explore Alexandria and see what happens. So we were talking that we don't have plans. Yeah, it's the best. If you care to join, we would love to have you. Shukran. <laughs> Pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. Best plans of all is no plans at all. Absolutely. And when you see when you see these, okay. Mm-hmm. You will find in some old buildings in Alexandria, in the really old quarters, you'll find these rings like here. Oh okay? yeah? They used to like tie their horses on these rings. I think we might have some ruins up here, right in the middle of downtown. Let's take a look. So this is the Roman theater. Wow, look at that, they have Roman columns and everything. Right here in downtown Alexandria, let's see. See another angle. Wow, this is the kind of thing you don't have in America because our history is pretty recent. So incredible. See how structure is made? You have these stones down there mm -hmm. and the bricks up there. Yeah. So you have a strong foundation, then you build on that foundation. Oh, so there's actually an amphitheater over there, huh? Yep. Wow. <laughs> I told you you were with me, right? So, uh... Wow. Shukran. So this is sugar cane juice? Yes, sir. Dog, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 
how fucking refreshing is this? <laughs> it's delicious. So this is just squeezed straight out of sugar cane. And this is the juice that comes out. It is really refreshing. And you'd think it would just taste like straight sugar, but I guess it's so natural, it's not like overwhelmingly sweet to the point where it's like gross. It's so good. Like very uh, fresh. Now, one of the oldest uh, restaurants slash bakery slash uh, coffee shop slash bar in Alexandria. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you see the drawings on the wall? Yeah. The ceiling and all. Wooden columns and here. Check the chandeliers. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so they just sell uh, sweet potatoes here. That, that's a street food snack it's that people will take? It's a snack. Yeah, wow. All right, so we've reached the Cornish. It's like the perfect temperature out, nice breeze. Pretty great. And there's a bunch of people selling street food here and like ice cream and stuff like that. It looks like people just kind of come here to hang out. This is called the Mina Sharia. Mina Sharia means the eastern port. It's a fisherman's uh, port. So you see uh, by the citadel, yep. the pipe by citadel, you'll see all these boats, they're mostly fishing boats. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. And the commercial port is on the further western side. The main port, as in like cargo shipping yes, and stuff like yes, that? Yes, yes, okay. the commercial. Yeah. I want you to check those buildings. It's by the same architect. Wow. And but there are two different buildings, but with the same theme or scheme. I love the green uh, windows. Absolutely. And the bricks, the red bricks. Yeah. And you see up oh, there. Oh, up, up at the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. The ornaments up there. All right, so my camera died when I was out on the Corniche before, so I went back to my hotel for a little bit, took a nap, recharged my camera, so now we're good to go. And I'm heading out to find some food, but first I'm still kind of sleepy, so I'm gonna have some Turkish coffee here at this cafe that I just stumbled across. We got the Sevilla vs Barcelona game on the TV here. By the way, fun fact, I actually spent a semester during college, during my university, studying in Sevilla, Spain, Seville. It was incredible and I really want to go back there soon. I'm starting to really grow to like uh, Turkish coffee, which is more common around here for uh, the locals to drink than like a cappuccino or definitely not an American coffee. You can't find that anywhere. I used to not like it so much because it has like some coffee grinds like really fine in it. Sometimes when you drink it, it's like, like it makes me kind of choke. <laughs> but I'm uh, acquiring a taste for it. The key for me, I think, is to wait a little bit before I drink it so that the grinds kind of go to the bottom and it's more clear at the top. But it's a totally different flavor than normal coffee. Very tasty, very rich. All right, guys, I'm at a restaurant now that was recommended to me many, many times on Instagram. It's called Alfla. Alfala? I don't know. There it is. So we're going to go in and get some kibde. That's their specialty. Kibde sandwiches. Let's try. Okay, so I think these kibda sandwiches are like literally the only thing they sell here and they're obviously famous for it so 
the guy just came up and said, how many? That was the only question. So I got five. I don't know if that's the right amount. I see people here in groups that they literally have like 20 sandwiches stacked up on the table. <laughs> so I don't know what like the proper serving is. I'm gonna try to eat five of these and we'll see how that goes. I think I could do a whole video just uh, like seeing how many of these sandwiches I can eat in one sitting. That would be a good challenge. Maybe next time. All right guys, the uh, food has arrived here. Keep this sandwich. And it's pretty plain. Looks like there's some pepper in there. Shukra. Thank you. So this is actually beef liver. For some reason, I think like in America, people think liver is gross, like the sound of it. But I don't know, I've had these before in Egypt and also in Saudi Arabia, and, and it really just tastes like beef to me. It's so delicious. And it comes with just some lime and some chilies, and I wonder how hot those are. I'm gonna try it plain first, and then we'll mix in some other things. All right, first one. So good. <clears throat> yeah, I think that chili is pretty spicy. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, it definitely hits you after. <laughs> My throat is on fire. Oh my god. Okay, that was delicious. I had five, but I can totally see how people can have more than that because I'm still hungry, but I decided instead of getting more of the same, even though they were amazing, I could totally eat like at least five more. I'm gonna continue exploring and try some other places here in Alexandria. See what else we can find. All right guys, it's time for more coffee. I'm just having an Escafe this time, which you can find all over Egypt. And there's all these little carts along the uh, Cornish here, selling coffee and tea and snacks and stuff like that. And then after I finish this, it's time to venture back into the depths of Alexandria and find some more food. Okay, no idea where I am, but it is busy out here. There are a ton of uh, vendors selling everything from like winter jackets to sneakers, probably, I would assume, copies like knockoffs. But wow, it's packed. A lot of restaurants here. And I see a street that looks like a market, so I'm gonna walk down there. Yella. They sell all kinds of stuff in here. I don't know if there's a theme or if it's just everything, but there's like kids toys here and it looks like it goes on forever. Wow, I have no idea what this area is called. If this is some organized thing, let me know in the comments. It is absolutely massive and I went through probably like, I don't know, just the tiniest bit of it. There's side streets every direction with more and more. And now I think I've reached the jewelry part because this entire street is lined with gold. <laughs> They even have like carts out here selling it. Wow. Every store here. I'm only showing you probably like 3% of it. Wow. So as you saw earlier in the video, all around this area of downtown uh, Alexandria, there are these old colonial buildings. Like this one behind me. Old coffee shops, this is called Cafe Farouk. And they're all like so nice on the inside. It actually reminds me a lot of um, like downtown Mumbai, Kolaba area, in that it has like all the colonial architecture and there's so many cool cafes and restaurants just in these really old, amazing buildings. Wow, so that place is a butcher shop and a restaurant. Looks like they're making pizzas. You can see like the sausages 
stuffed in the intestine, hanging down over the uh, <laughs> hanging down over the uh, wire there. Okay, I found the coolest little barber shop <laughs> and it's covered in CC posters. Check it out. Abdel Fata. Ah, tamam. Good for a good. Yeah. Okay. I can have a haircut. Shukran. Wow! Look at this place. So small. <laughs> All right. I've got terrible hat head. Hopefully he can fix me up. <laughs> Let's see. Look at this little barber shop. It's literally like a tiny little shed on the side of the road. So, new experience, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So, um, my hair like this. And just uh, short on the side. Short. And a little bit big, longer on the top. Thank you. Shukran. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Small camera. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Yes. Yeah. Two or three. Two or three. Here we go. We're all finished, guys. What do you think? I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Awesome. Shukran. All right, guys. I think it went pretty well. So those guys really didn't speak much English at all, and I was trying to figure out how much it costs. And the guy gave me this, like three and or something like that, and I was super confused. And at first, I thought he was saying three hundred, which is like twenty dollars, and that is like impossible. So I was so confused, so confused, and then he's like three five. So I'm like, maybe it's one fifty, which is ten dollars, which is still way too much. So I just was so confused and like flustered. So I pulled out three fifties, so one hundred and fifty pounds, and gave it to him, which is like ten dollars. And they just gave me back two of them, so it was cost fifty pounds, which is like a little over three dollars for a haircut and everything. So. Pretty amazing. And that was really nice of them to hand it back because they could have probably just kept it and I would have been like, okay. <laughs> so, successful I think. Wow. The chickens are just out here on top of the cages, chilling, eating. Oh my gosh. And bunnies. <laughs> and pigeons. I ate them in Luxor. Over here you got the butcher shop. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the cats ever catch a pigeon from the thing. Hey. No. Man, this is crazy just wandering through here and I have not seen a, what well, looks to me at least, as a single other non-Egyptian today. <laughs> Even though I'm right here in downtown. Pretty crazy. Let's keep going. I'm on my way to a restaurant that I've read about online that apparently has a bunch of crazy, unique, different types of meat sandwiches to try. So they, it's similar to the place I was eating at before because they have the, the kibda, the normal sandwich, but they also have like, some other crazy ones that hopefully I'll be able to order. It's gonna be all in Arabic, so I'm gonna do my best and see what happens. Time to venture down the dark alley, why not? Wow, look at that mosque. I've gotta come back here during the day and show you guys when the light is better. That is a pretty cool building, wow. This one too, oh my gosh. All right guys, I found the place. 
Let's go across and check it out. Hopefully I can order what I need to. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Wow. Salam alaikum. Okay, someone came and helped me order in Arabic. Some nice lady here came and helped me uh, translate to the waiter because the menu is only in Arabic. I was doing my best. So I think I ordered more kibda and also brain. Cow brain. Which I've had sheep's brain once before in India. Sheep brain curry. Now I'm gonna have cow brain and see how that goes. Alright guys, the food has arrived. So this on top is not the same as what I had before. I was wrong. It's some kind of meat. I don't know what animal. I think probably beef. Yeah, I think it's beef. And then this one underneath is brain. Obviously I have to try the uh, brain first. Let's see. Wow, these are like all buttery and pressed. Looks amazing. Okay. Uh, here goes nothing. Tastes good. Oh man, it's like creamy. It tastes good. It's a mental thing for me, haha. <laughs> but it's a little bit of a mental thing for me just knowing I'm eating brain. I always try to be open minded and like everything, and it, it tastes fine. Like it really does. It's like a creamy, kind of mushy stuff. But it's a little weird for me. I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't have ordered two brain ones. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna finish up here, do the best that I can with this brain <laughs> stuff, <laughs> and then continue. Well guys, I feel like a little bit of a wimp. <laughs> I tried the brain, really wanted to like it. Honestly, it didn't taste bad. It's just the texture for me, like I just can't wrap my head around mushy animal stuff. I don't know. But I felt bad wasting it and didn't want to be rude, so I took it for takeaway, and I'm gonna find some nice deserving cats or dogs and give them the brains because I think they'll appreciate it more than me. I feel bad because I always want to try new stuff and I want to like it, but you know, can't like everything. So let's find some kitties that deserve a nice little brain treat. And we have found our winner, guys. Oh, don't, don't worry, I'm just filming you. No, eat it, go ahead. <laughs> She's very suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna leave that with you. Enjoy it. Um, yeah. Oh, there she goes. She took one. <laughs> Hopefully the other one will get found. All right, guys, I've made it to another famous spot here in Alexandria per recommendations. This is Aza ice cream. I just ordered a mix of different flavors, so let's see what I get. Got a mix of like chocolate, mango, strawberry, lemon, orange, I believe. Oh wow. That's amazing. It's more like a sherbet actually than an ice cream, but it's so good, so dense and refreshing. You can tell it's all real too. Definitely real fruit in here. Wow. It's it's like uh, it's almost chewy. It's like really really delicious. Highly recommended. And I'm here just across from the Corniche, the Mediterranean Sea, good way to end a day. Well, that was absolutely delicious. Uh, I'm definitely coming back here. It's about 9.40, still early, but I'm gonna head back to my hotel and continue the adventure in the morning. This was a great first day in Alexandria. Tomorrow, gonna have a full day exploring, hopefully meet some locals and discover a whole lot more. So I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.